This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash F E A T U dot R E forward slash V G O. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. Video Gamers Oasis dot com play. Subscribe. Hey gamers, welcome back. I'm your host, Vicky. We're playing some more Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator. Pardon me while I adjust my sound. We're continuing our adventure with Ben Jordan Paranormal Investigator. Case number five, Land of the Rising Dead. Let's continue where we left off. We'll do some investigating in Japan. Here in the hotel room. So we've, we've, earned, we've established that we're staying in the hotel room with uh, Simon. Simon Booth. Let's talk to him for a moment. <clears throat> nice room we've got here, isn't it? It certainly is. I can't say how much careful sleeping on the map, but we'll see what what comes out in the coming days. Ask some questions. Got a minute? Sure, what's up? Talk about the laptop. What exactly did you say the laptop was for? Internet access, mainly. I don't know if I mentioned it back in London, but I'm pretty sh good with computers. I can e I can access information rather easily if the need arises. You mean you're a hacker? Come now, Ben. Hacker is such an ugly word. I prefer to think of myself as a research assistant with special privileges. Works for me. Ghost murders. <clears throat> How did you hear about those these ghost murders anyway? By accident, actually. Truth be told, I was really looking into someplace nice to travel. When I hit Japan, I did a little research and found a, an article mentioning the murders. So I rang you up and Alice up, and here we are. What about Osaka? What do you know about Osaka? Bugger all, I've never been. Shouldn't we be more prepared when we go to places? Not really. We're investigating paranormal phenomena, not writing a terrorist report. Good point. Tell me about yourself. So tell me a bit about yourself. Like what? You already know pretty much all there is to know about me. I don't know. Got any unusual talents or hobbies or anything? Yes, I'm a, I'm a ballet dancer in my spare time. It keeps me limber. Really? Of course not, honestly, you Americans wouldn't know sarcasm if it knocked on your door and invited itself in for lunch. Tell me about Alice. Any word from Alice? Not since yesterday. Uh, she should be somewhere over the Pacific right now. So what exactly is going on with you two, if you don't mind me asking? What do you mean? You can't tell me you don't have feelings for her. What? what? What makes you think that? Oh, come on. It was obvious when we were, we were at number 50. I could tell these things, Ben. Alice is a very nice girl, and we're friends. That's all. You're hopeless. Look, I don't want to discuss it, okay? The last thing I need right now is a relationship. Still haven't gotten over Mary, have you? That's enough. Okay, okay, sorry. That's all for now. See you then. Later then. See our progress. Alright, let's turn on some TV. A small television rests atop the dresser. You decide to see what Japanese television has to offer. A lot of exciting anime going on. Banzai! So what am I looking at here? Don't stare too long, you're likely to have a seizure. 
anything to the show. Try using the television instead. Do you click turn the television off? Wow, that was intense. <laughs> okay. Bathroom door. Let's go to the bathroom. See what's going on in there. Oh, nice bathroom. Oh, bulb. Mirror. Boy, oh boy, a mirror. You just love mirrors. You consider writing get out on the mirror to freak Simon out, but quickly change your mind. Table. A large stainless steel table rests against the wall between the two doorways. It feels cold. Newspaper. Oh, newspaper. It's in the paper today. The paper is dated October 24th. You scan the front page and quickly realize you can't understand a word of it. However, looking at the photos provided with the front page article, you deduce that it's about the latest murder. This is some pretty grisly look looking stuff. The only information you gather is that the lead investigator is some guy named Yoshi. Oh well, that'll have to do for now. Yoshi. Mario's pet dinosaur. Alright. Save our progress. Hotel, room, bathroom. What else we got here? Robe. A, large, a rather large black robe hangs on the hook. You guess it must belong to Simon. You decide to take the robe. If there's one thing you've learned from paranormal investigating is that you never know when something like this is going to come in handy. Alright, progress. Is this a toilet? Do I have to go to the toilet? In a separate room, you see what appears to be a toilet. It's a little more than a porcelain hole in the floor. You have no need to go right now. Besides, you really, you don't really know how to use it. Bathtub. In the next room, you see a large basin, which you assume is a bath at the bathtub. You have no need to take a bath at the moment. Book. Book is firmly in the wall. Okay, nothing in there. Okay. Let's get moving. Let's talk to Simon. Maybe we can ask permission for using his robe. Got a minute? Sure, what's up? That's all for now. See you later then. Alright then, that's all we gotta do. Let's see what's outside the door. Okay, this is where we are, right? We're in the hotel here. That's the hotel. So we know where to go to get home so-called home, home base. That's the hotel. Let's go to the police department and investigate with the cops. Okay. It's a door, you assume at least for the police station. Plant, pot of plant, uh, odds a bit of atmosphere. The lobby is for shut in the dark corner. Yes, sergeant, looks like there's some place you'd rather Looks like there's some place you'd rather be. A Billy Joel song. Just against the wall. Want a poster shows motions to several unsavory living characters. You hope you don't meet any of them while you're here. It's talk to him. Hello, officer. Good day to you, sir. Excuse me, officer. Could I have a minute of your time? How can I help you, young man? Tell me about the Ghost Masters and the Ghost Murders, pardon me. Can you tell me anything about the so-called Ghost Murders? I'm sorry, I cannot discuss police cases with anyone who is not the police. Are there re really ghosts involved? As I said, I cannot discuss this with you. Please do not ask me again. Ah. Uh... Tell me about yourself. Me, there is not much to say. My name is Shigo Kurosaka, and I am a desk sergeant. 
I study English at school, which helped me get this job, since people from all over come, come in this precinct. And in my free time, I enjoy baseball and karaoke. Is that enough information for you? Sure, that, that's peachy. Tell me about uh, Osaka. Can you tell me anything about Osaka? Yes, I can tell you to be careful in the streets. Osaka is seeing much higher rate of crime than before. Be careful when you wander alone at night. Thanks for the warning. Tell me about Inspector Yoshi. I'd like to speak with Inspector Yoshi, please. And who are you? My name is Ben Jordan. I'm a, a, a private investigator. I'm interested in speaking to him about the recent murders. Is he expecting your visit? Uh, no, actually, I... I I never actually met him, and I'm sure he'd be interested in what I have to say. I doubt that. Inspector Yoshi is a very busy man. Can't you at least let him know that I'm here? Maybe he's got some time to see me. I will try, but don't expect anything. Uh, Inspector Yoshi says he has never heard of you. He is very busy, and unless you have some kind of official business or are working with a member of law enforcement, he cannot see you. That's all for now. Goodbye. Save our progress as police station. Excuse me, officer, have I a minute of your time? How can I help you, young man? That's all for now. Goodbye. Anything else I can talk about? Hello, officer. Good day to you, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir, I'm afraid civilians are not allowed to that door without proper authorization. Oh, sorry about that. Bench. Use the bench. You have more important things to do than sit around inside a police station. We're gonna take a little break. Um, we were at the police station. We're gonna go back to the base, home base, to see what Simon's doing. Let's check our notes first, though. They want to find a way to see, way in to see Inspector Yoshi. Your trusty notepad and pen, in addition to writing yourself personal notes, you can use them to copy the noun text or drawings. It's the business card of Percival Quentin Jones. He gave it to you before you left London. It's a large black robe you assume belongs to Simon when you at, you took from your bathroom without asking. You had better know what you're doing with it. Okay, um, give him a card. The sergeant. You decide to see if a little name dropping will get you in to see the inspector. Excuse me, sir, but I think Inspector Yoshi might be interested in knowing what I'm working with, Professor Clinton Jones, PhD. Who? Here, I've got his card. Could you show it to him? Let me see that. You hand the business card to the desk surgeon. Wait here, right here. I'll show Inspector Yoshi. Inspector Yoshi says he will see you now. You may go through the door over there. His office is the second door on the right. Well, I guess I'm gonna make some progress anyway. Thank you, officer. Excellent. Let's go talk to Inspector Yoshi. Uh, note. Both the board has several notes pinned to it. Feels decided to take note. Oh, take a note. Oh my goodness. I 
just took a note from the police station. It's a note signed by Inspector Yoshi, which you took from the police station bulletin board. I'll just save this as Inspector Yoshi. Drawings. It's on the poster. What a strange poster. When it might make it for an interesting souvenir, you'd get the feeling it would be missed. The sign above reads, the door reads, Hamato Yoshi. You knock on the door. A voice from inside says, come in. Hello, Inspector Yoshi. I I'm Ben Dor Jordan, paranormal investigator. Ah, yes, it is a pleasure to meet you. I apologize for, for not seeing you when Officer Kurosaka first told me you were here. I did not remember your name immediately, but when he showed me Professor Jones' card, I recall that I actually spoken to him recently about you. I must confess, I do not really believe in the paranormal myself. However, I am open to hearing anything you might have to share in relation to your past work. You have come very highly recommended. Please take a seat. Let's talk to him. First, let's look at him. Inspector Yoshi looks like a man with a lot on his mind. He exp his expression is serious, his skin pale. He guess he hasn't slept in a while. You see a map of the city on the bulletin board. You see several red push pins marked in a few areas. Fighting cabinets, a set of fighting cabinets standing against the wall, presumably full of Inspector Yoshi's past cases. A chairs provided for Yoshi's desk. Waste basket filled, brim with crumpled paper. Let's talk to him. So how's it going? Please, Mr. Jordan, I am very busy and have no time for idle chat. All right, let's get right to the point. Could I ask you a few questions? Yes, go ahead. Tell me about the ghost murders. What do you know about the so-called ghost murders? Quite a bit. I'm the lead inspector on the case. Are they really being done by ghosts? All I can say is that whoever is doing these murders is practically untraceable. Crime scenes aren't exactly tidy, but the perpetrators leave little or no evidence that can be used to find them. Since this is the case, naturally there have been rumors that are being done by something supernatural. I don't believe in such things, I myself, but many people around there are very, here are very superstitious. Case status. What's the current status in the case? <clears throat> As of right now, there have been four murders. You can see I've marked their locations on the map behind me. There does not seem to be any pattern in relation to the location of the murders. What about the victims themselves? Any relationship between them? All I know is that they are all businessmen. Beyond that, I have not established any pertinent links. Do you at least know their names? Not by heart. I submitted these records in our evidence department. Uh, tell me about yourself. So tell me a bit about yourself. I am overworked, underpaid, and long overdue for a vacation. I have a wife who I hardly ever see since I work so much, and I'm pretty sure we have a child together. Wow, that bad, huh? You have no idea. Tell me about Osaka. What can you tell me about Osaka? I can tell you one thing, I am glad I'm not an inspector in Tokyo. If you think Asaka is busy, you should see it over there. I have heard the cops in Tokyo only get one day off every four years. Yikes, you said it. That's all for now. Going. See 
here, Professor uh, Inspector Yoshi. Better get moving. A note says Officer Sadako's surprise party is in one week. Be sure to keep it a secret. Was it written in Japan or, or Chicken Scratch? Either way, you can't make what it says. Plaque on the wall is thankfully, is, is thankfully written in Japanese and, and English. It says Evidence Lockup and Crime Lab. What's in there? The evidence lockup attendant. Stalked them. Hi there. Hello, sir. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure, be my guest. Tell me about the ghost murders. Ghost murders case. No, I'm afraid I don't want anything aside from what it says in the paper. I'm just an evidence lockup attendant, so I don't get any inside information on police cases. I see. Evidence retrieval. I was wondering if I could get some evidence from you. I don't mean to be rude, but who are you? Oh, of course. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Um, my name is Ben Jordan. I'm an investigator looking into the ghost murders. Ah, I see. Well, in order to get any evidence, you must get this evidence requisition form signed by the lead inspector on the case. The attendant hands you a form. Thanks. Tell me about yourself. Well, what's your job like? Basically, I retrieve any evidence filed for different police cases. I also file it away when it is given to me by detectives. Any interesting stuff back there? Every so often, I get some things which people would consider quote unquote strange, but whatever can be used for trials is important as quote unquote normal items. Tell me about Osaka. Tell me about Osaka. What, what can you tell me about it? It's a pretty nice city. I've only been living here a far few years, but I love it. Although, as I'm sure you've heard, the crime rate has increased late, lately. Which, it, although it keeps me employed, is something I'd rather. Wasn't so. Thanks. That's all you need to know. You're welcome. All right, we're gonna investigate these uh, lab technicians later, but we're gonna take a little break because I'm a little tired. Save our progress as lab, police lab. Gamers, thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan Land of the Rising Dead by Francisco Gonzalez. This is case number five. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus, all those social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, official video videos, and you'll be notified of the latest videos that I'll be doing. Um, check out uh, the links below, Facebook and Twitter. Also, I use shoutouts, so if you want to Shout out to your channel, make sure to um, leave some comments up to subscribing. I'll read your comments in your channel. Also, I'll, I'll answer your questions and the best of my ability, preferably gamer and geek related. I'm also working on a Patreon page. Stay tuned for more information on that. Thanks for watching, gamers. Have a great week. We'll talk to you again.